Okay. Like this. Clamp on my hands. Yeah, lovely. Right, if somebody does this, get to the chin with your hands. Okay, get your hand on his chin. Can you see? The hand wants to go to the chin so you can turn his head and lift it. And that's as far as I'll go with him, he's got a neck like a bull. So he goes, turn and up. And then this one helps it until it's straight. Once it's straight, it can hold the weight on its own. And you can put this one inside. Once that's inside, you can hutch your hips away and make a massive frame like you're a Thai boxer. Your elbows come to your guts and you make this frame. So I've got belly eight with my left hand and I head butt my watch with the right. I'm not doing this because it makes you lick your knuckles and you break your fingers like this. And then grab my head. No, like this one. Forearm. And I head butt my watch. Because you try and hold me there, you can't. Try and swim your arm inside. Swim this arm. Swim this arm. Yeah. Try and swim inside. Yeah. If I move away from you like this, swim inside. Easy. Right, swim inside. You see? Right, if I move away from you, kneel on the arm. Ooh. Right, kneel on the arm. Right, don't do it, but imagine you can smash me head in. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, bad, bad. You see that here? Look here. So go on, put your, put your knee inside. That's it. Swim your hand inside. No, no. Can you see? Right, gonna be blocking your watch. So the frame is there. Look, the frame is there. Relax. Watch. Help your friends to start with. I don't want him putting his head down here. He's gonna do that in a minute. To start with, we want the frame. And it's under his chin to turn it and lift it. And then assist it with this hand. Look, turn it and lift it. And once it's straight, put this inside and turn it and lift it. Escape your hip and bring your elbows to your guts. So you've got belly eight with this one, and this one's here. Can you see? Hooking, head button and watch. Because if his weight's forward, you've got your underhook, elephant impression, and, and crunch. There's your underhook. If his weight goes back, because he's insisting on hitting you, or just not getting the underhook in place, you escape your, heat, your hip and smash your knees together. And just stretch it. So then you don't get your head filled. Do you understand? Do you want to do that in two parts or can you do all that? Can you do all that? Yeah. Watch, watch. Make sure your clamp's good. Under the chin. He's helping me. This way and up. One o'clock on there. This hand. Up to one o'clock. When it's straight inside. One o'clock. Get your hip out and bring your elbows. If you just lift your weight up like this. Into your guts. Just look here. So one and eight, head what you watch like this. If you wait forward, you can swing your arm up, elephant impression, and do a crunch. And you know, you know, your shoulder goes inside. If you under. If he puts his weight back, he's afraid of that, or he's trying to punch you, escape your hip and smash your knee to your other knee. And then you can stretch it. And he's off you. That makes sense, so you've achieved the same thing with your second phase. Good?